Okay, so this is the um, the next video in the series. Uh, we're on to assembly phase three. I don't remember which video number that would be. But uh, just to recap, we've gotten all the capacitors. Ha, huh, recap. <laughs> um, that was the last video, and the video before that was the, the ICs, uh, just the sockets and the resistors, and this modification here on the bottom. Um, as I mentioned before, with the capacitors, there was a lot of changes to the document from the document and I'll do my best to uh, get a, another version of that document um, at least redlined or something from the one that they have but it's pretty good and if you just take a few seconds you can figure it out it's, it's not hard to figure out at all uh, the differences you just have to pay a little bit of attention so um, part four or phase three here is um, the assembly of the diodes and the RF chokes. And I have my RF chokes on my resistors page because they're basically labeled and look a lot like resistors. So we'll start on this one L1 which is a 10 micro henry RF choke and where do they want this uh, it looks like we're going to be doing these the same as we did our resistors L1 is a half inch to the left of the right edge of the board. There's L2. L3, where's L1? Oh, it's right here, kind of in the middle. Okay. Bink.
onto the diodes. Remember when you're using diodes, diodes are directional. So to use the, uh, put the band facing the right direction, the, uh, you can see there's a little black mark on one end. That's the cathode side. And um, they will uh, show you on the board where your band should be. It's a line right there. I don't know how well that can be seen. See the little line? Okay, at this point we've installed all the transistors. Um, one of those wasn't a transistor. That was a diode there, but the rest of these are transistors. Um, now it comes with this little 222 transistor as the final amp. Or you can get the power mod, which is a different one. And these different heat sinks. I'm going to use more power because... Well, because, ha. And here's the heat sink that I was talking about, this little hat looking thing. So, you have to carefully, without ruining the leads, somehow get this on here. So this is supposed to help dissipate the power, and I bent the lead, but that shouldn't be hard to fix. And this is Q6. There did all this crap. And what they're saying here is make sure that this heat sink doesn't touch anything around it after you get it in here. So you're going to mount it high so that it doesn't, there's no chance of it shorting anything out. That's about as far as I'm going to push it in. sitting pretty high on the board there you can see but there's plenty of gap between it and everything else and uh, we should be safe there I know this is I'm sure it looks completely weird to you. You know, 
off there. There we go. Okay, so the last, well, some of the last parts here are the crystals. And you use the little wire snips that you snipped off other things after you put these sockets in. And you have to ground them. And uh, apparently crystals are very heat sensitive. So you're not supposed to touch, you're not supposed to get them too hot for very long. So I'm loading up my the tip of my soldering iron and I guess it's pre-tinned. So I just heat the the wire real quick. And I just hope I'm getting enough on here. It's ugly. Really ugly. But it's solid, so it's me at least mechanically strong. On the crystals. Okay, now the integrated circuits. Remember, static sensitive. So check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's it, completed. Uh, the chips are in. They're a little slightly different than the ones listed, which is fine. Um, we use sockets for our uh, crystals. And I showed you the, how we did that crystal change there. Um, that's it for now. Uh, there's going to be some wires plugging the antenna and things like that but uh, right now that should be that's pretty much it there's you know some hookup at this point some final assembly uh, and that'll be different the way everybody does it but the way I'm going to do it is with the, the kit that came with it the enclosure and there's separate instructions for that so that'll be another video but uh, that's it what she looks like. This is the top of the board here. I don't know what time it is. Figure I've spent about maybe six hours on this. This is the first time I've soldered anything in ages. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, that is without the crystals. Here's the crystals. Separate. Um, it requires two crystals at a time uh, of the same. One for receive and one for transmit. Oh, that's where we are. Uh, next video will be uh, building out the enclosure.